What's up guys, it's me Jeremy. When it comes to the mid game, and especially the late game, knowing when to group is something players struggle with quite a bit. Let's get started. Now, after you make the transition into the mid game, grouping becomes an extremely relevant thing to do, and whichever team does it better can often decide the game if the laning phase was pretty close. Let's go over what situations your team should group in and why. The first thing to understand is that when grouping, your team needs to be looking to accomplish something. Looking for team fights as 5 players is probably the most common and the best reason to group. If you think you can win team fights, grouping and pressuring objectives is a great way to set up those fights, as well as any team based plays your team might be looking to make. In addition, grouping is the best counter to picks. If your team groups as 5, you won't really be able to get picked off since you're all together, and if anything happens you can just disengage or start a team fight, since your whole team's there already. And if the opponents try to pick one of your players out with one of their players missing, it's an easy team fight win. As well as, grouping as 5 is a great way to pick off opponents too. You can set up wards and a trap in the enemy jungle by scattering yourselves a bit, and then jump on a target when they walk in. Just make sure to clear out the opponent's wards the best you can. All of these things are reasons to group, so you need to actively think what your team is trying to do and group accordingly. When you're behind, grouping is fantastic since the pick potential really gives you a larger chance at coming back rather than just pushing out your lanes and hoping to farm up. Grouping is a really proactive play and the team that groups first often gets a pretty big advantage and can even force 4v5 fights sometimes, so grouping is more often than not a better play than doing something other than grouping. Just make sure that when you actually group, you're doing it for a reason. And in addition, you're going to need to group as a defensive tactic too. If your opponents are pressuring heavily, you'll need to group to be able to deal with their pressure to not lose out on a bunch of free objectives. Because of this, you're often forced to group whenever your opponents group as well. As for when not to group, there's a few situations too. The first being when you want to set up for a team-based play like an objective. Oftentimes, you can't really just group and expect something to happen. Ideally, you want to create the most optimal situation for you to group, and in order to do that, you need to do things such as push out lanes, control vision, and buy items. Doing these will allow you to prepare for the next team fight and should be done before grouping. League is an objective focused game, and so you shouldn't try to team fight unless the situation is optimal or you're forced to. Also, if you can't win a 5v5 team fight, Grouping isn't going to help you that much, since your pick potential is somewhat eliminated from your opponent's grouping. You can just keep pushing out lanes, avoid getting picked off, and farm up until you reach a point where you have a chance at 5v5ing, or perhaps set up a slit push, or look for your players to make solo picks by themselves or with a partner. Just be aware of what your team's strategy and win conditions are. Your win condition comes from capitalizing on the strengths of your team comp, so you have to think, what situation will cause us to win this game, and how do I set it up, and group accordingly. Overall, when deciding when to group and when not to group, you have a few things to consider. Time management, team fighting, and your team's win conditions. You need to manage your time properly in order to group effectively. Don't be farming the jungle when you should be with your team. Delaying team-based plays for minor things such as farming the jungle can be really detrimental. Make sure that when you group, you have a major goal in mind, such as team fighting or making a play for an objective. And before you group up, set up that goal by pushing out the lanes and warding surrounding areas. And lastly, play to your team comp's strengths. As oftentimes your team might be terrible in a 5v5 situation, and so grouping is going to be very suboptimal, and you could potentially avoid the need for grouping altogether by split pushing or going for picks. My name is Jeremy, and that's just about everything I could come up with that you need to know about grouping. Be sure to check me out over at twitch.tv slash jeremy underscore gaming curios. Stay connected at facebook.com slash gaming curios. Tweet me at gaming curios. Drop a like, share this video, and make sure to subscribe for some more awesome content in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.